So a few weeks back, um, the federal government issued the Gonski report on funding education. And you know what? The Gonski report said that we need to spend another $5 billion to improve Australian education. The government's response was, no way, we're not going to do that. Um, the opposition's response was, no way, we're not going to do that. Um, there was a considerable amount of controversy about, well, if we did that, what would happen? You know, would private schools get less? Would Catholic schools get less? Uh, what happens with disadvantaged schools? What's, it, what's fair? What's not fair? So all this discussion has been going on. But you know what? The thing is that right now we can improve education substantially without spending any more money just by reallocating somewhat the money that's sloshing around in the system. So educators and principals and PNCs and all sorts of people interested in education will say there's no money sloshing around in the system. Well, believe me, there will be money sloshing around in that system somewhere. Um, the amount of money that we spend on education, you cannot tell me that it's all being spent efficiently and on things that give the biggest return for the money. In the last decade, there's been an enormous amount of research into how the brain learns, the um, field of cognitive neuroscience. And out of that research has come some technologies, there's a number of them, but there is one particular technology that stands out head and shoulders above all the others that um, can be implemented in schools, which can make a significant difference to the learning outcomes of all students. And what it does, it actually works on the student's learning capacity. What we've done in education for years and years and years is spend money, time and attention on um, getting better teachers, absolutely great. Um, getting better curriculum, absolutely great. Um, but we haven't done much on improving the learning capacity of students. We've tried to shove information into students, teach them how to learn, teach them strategies. But the actual um, hardware, the brain capacity, the brain efficiency of students, we've done nothing with because we didn't know we could until recently. Now with neuroscience, this research and the consequent um, emergence of these technologies, we can now improve the capacity of students to learn. So all the good stuff teachers are doing, all the good stuff um, curriculum does, will fall on more fertile ground. The technology I'm talking about is a product, a program called Fast for Word. It's been used now in well over 6,000 schools around the world. And what we've learnt from that experience with now over three million students is that the students' capacity to learn has improved substantially. These programs were originally targeted at children who were learning disabled or behind grade average in learning and in reading. What we, and they were, they're very effective for that, that group. What we've learnt is that they're very effective for everybody right across the spectrum from learning disabled to gifted and talented. And we have schools where they're seeing their top decile students improve their performance substantially after doing these what are effectively brain training programs. So what I'm advocating is that rather than wait for the argument to take its course and f try and get some more money, we can start now in every school in Australia spending some of what is being spent now in on, on improving the children's, the students' capacity to learn. <laughs>